time to leave Canada because it's snowing. Let's get out of here. I remember reading about a sinkhole, an island where the center of it is sunken out of it. And apparently the lagoon in the center is shaped like a heart. And so the heart lagoon it's called. I remember reading about it years ago. We're on our way there right now. And we're gonna be there shortly and hopefully we're gonna swim into this lagoon. My understanding is that the lagoon is completely surrounded by rock. You can't walk into it, you can't go over top of it. The only way to get into it is to swim underneath through a sea cave and pop up into the center of this, this heart lagoon. So I hope I can hold my breath long enough. Yeah, you apparently have to hold your breath quite a long time to be able to swim underneath the island and pop up in the center. So we've come aboard the sailing vessel Sunshine, super yacht Sunshine, which is a 127 foot light schooner um, on our first trip into the Merigui Archipelago. Literally it took a lot of planes, trains, and automobiles to get us even remotely close to the Heart Lagoon. Our journey began in Sydney, Nova Scotia and brought us to Myanmar, a country in Southeast Asia. Early morning flights on our big bird of an airplane. Jumping up and down the floor my hat is an animal And once there was an animal It had a sun that mowed the lawn The sun was an okay guy They had a pet dragonfly The dragonfly ran away But it came back with a story to say Traveling through Asia is always exhilarating, with so many unique experiences, but we are also excited to be joining the sailing schooner Sunshine, the vessel that would be giving us our first glimpse of the Mergue Islands. Before we could get underway, we needed provisions for our trip, so we headed back ashore and paid a visit to the local market. Because we're uh, such a big boat, uh, we have to anchor in the commercial anchorage with all the big freighters, etc. And so we come ashore. The most convenient place for us to come ashore is on these commercial docks, and this one is just so classic. Watch your step. Yeah, you gotta watch your step in this one. It is pretty much the sketchiest dock I've ever seen. At low tide, you go down about five meters. You really don't want to fall in. <laughs> and the water is just filthy. You really do not want to go in. Yeah, this is awesome. It's so sketchy. Yeah, I like. It. <laughs> Water 
Once the galley was fully stocked, we were ready to set sail. India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Malaysia, here's Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. And we are right here in the Mergui Archipelago. Now, Heart Island that we've heard of is actually down over here, but we're going go north for a little bit and we've heard that on this island here totally unmarked um, because the charts here are pretty much horrendous um, we've heard that on this island uh, that there's been a bride's whale washed ashore there and all the bones can still be found on the beach and so we got this report that that was a cool place to go check out so we're gonna go into this anchorage right here take the dinghy across and go and see if we can hike through the jungle and find uh, on the beach sort of into the jungle where the bones apparently have been washed ashore. After we'd walked around in the mangrove swamps looking for the whale bones, we met a local who had told us that they had moved the bones up into the forest to protect them from being washed away in storms. They had re-articulated most of the vertebra and there were even a few rib bones present. One of the fin bones, either the radius or ulna, and the upper maxillary bone from the skull was also present. Very cool. Once we were back aboard Sunshine, we made preparations to get underway and head south to go look for the Heart Lagoon. We pulled up some sail and cruised along under a gentle breeze and watched an amazing sunset. That is until it got dark. Then things got a bit interesting. The sun's just set, and on the horizon I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve squid boats. And in case you didn't see them, there's an unlit fishing boat there, there's an unlit fishing boat there, and there's an unlit fishing boat there. I've never seen anything like this place. There is unlit boats everywhere. 
there's lit boats that are completely not using any sort of normal aids to navigation or color regulations. Um, green lights, blue lights, red flashing lights, white lights flashing all over. Um, and the worst one was we just about got into a collision with a very large, probably a fishing boat, completely unlit, no lights whatsoever, uh, just cruising along and was not about to change course even though we were completely lit up with normal navigation lights. Um, yeah, this place is very interesting for sailing. That's a squid boat. That's, see that little tiny flash? That, that's not even a navigation light, that's just a light that he's using for one of the crab traps. Yes, you can see them on radar, but like this one, it's just a long tail. It's, you know, a 30 or 40 foot vessel. No lights, navigation lights whatsoever. And no, they don't come up on, on radar, so you can't see those things in the middle of the night, either by navigation lights or on the radar. So you just have to totally look out all the time so you don't run into one of these vessels. According to our charts, one of these islands is hollow. Beyond that jagged rock wall lies the Heart Lagoon. The next step, get inside. Join us next time when we trek through jungles, visit the sea gypsies, and find an uncharted island. It shines for you and I, you know it'll shine.